welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain signum function and to explain signum function first i'll define signum function then i'll explain graphical understanding of signal function and then i'll explain you relationship of signum function with unit step function so these are the topics that i'll be covering in this session so let us begin this session based on signum function with how we can define it so first of all we can denote signum function with s of gn so it is denoted by s of gn of t in case of continuous time and s of gn of n in case of discrete time and as if you want to see how it is there so s of gn of t so its value will be 1 for t greater than 0 its value will be 0 for t is equals to 0 and its value will be minus 1 for t less than 0 so that is how we can define it in continuous time similarly in discrete time we can define it by s of gn of n where that will be 1 in case of n greater than 0 it will be 0 in case of n is equals to 0 and that is equals to minus 1 in case of n less than 0 so this is how we can define signum function in continuous time and discrete time so let us try to understand this in continuous time and discrete time with graphical understanding now see for continuous time as i have told it is equals to 1 for t greater than 0 so for continuous time its value will be 1 for t greater than 0 where this is what reference t is equals to 0 it will be 0 at t is equals to 0 and it will be minus 1 for t less than 0 so that is how signum function that will be there in terms of graphical representation for continuous time now when we talk about signum function for discrete time so at t is equal n is equals to 0 it will be 0 for n greater than 0 it will be 1 so for 1 2 3 4 we will be finding its value is 1 and for n less than 0 its value is minus 1 So you'll be finding signum function in discrete domain. It looks like this. So now I have defined that function as well as you can see its graphical representation. So this is how signum function is there. Now I'll explain you relationship in between signum function and unit step. And this is so essential question based on signum function. So one should know what is the relationship. between unit step and signum function now see that relationship is first i'll mention this and by graphical understanding i'll try to prove that so relationship is s of gn that is equals to twice time of u of t minus 1 so this is what the basic relationship that is there in between signum function and unit step now see how it is there so for that i'll make a graph here like see 2 of u t means it is unit step function multiplied by 2 so if i plot 2 of u t so it will be like this 
where magnitude is 2 starts from t is equals to 0 and that is how it will be there right if i plot minus 1 then minus 1 is having magnitude minus 1 throughout so here magnitude will be minus 1 now if you add this 2 so as if you add this 2 you will be finding for t greater than 0 it will be 2 minus 1 it will be plus 1 so addition of this 2 it will be 2 minus 1 that will be plus 1 and for t less than 0 this is 0 and this is minus 1 so 0 minus 1 it will be minus 1 so you will be finding for t less than 0 it will be minus 1 and this is what actually signum function so one can see i have already drawn it earlier signum function is what for t greater than 0 it is 1 and for t less than 0 it is minus 1 so relationship in between signum function and unit step that is this signum function is equals to 2 ut minus 1 so that is this so that is how we can prove relationship in between signum function and unit step i hope that you have understood this if you have any query you just place that in comments definitely we can have discussion and these questions are so essential in university examination so you just note it down and make a note out of this definitely you can prepare it in a better way thank you so much for watching this video